Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. We have the new chapter four now online. All the servers are up and running. We have the Unreal Engine 5.1 in play. I'm currently on PC. I've gone into my settings, my video settings, and I'm gonna enable the new super resolution. So I was on DirectX 11. You need to be on direct x12 so you'll probably have to restart the game once you've restarted the game if you scroll down to graphics quality uh, if you can actually help me choose the settings by opening that it will send you over to epic games and it tells you all about the the new 5.1 engine and the way to get the best performance out of your system so if i go down to here it's got temporary super resolution is disabled in the analyze and super resolution setting. So I have to go up here. And I'm just going to put it on medium. Then I'm going to go back to here and I'll go for performance as well. And then you've got obviously the 3D resolution, temporary super resolution is enabled in the analyze. Yeah, so you've got to keep messing around. But this is the big one here, the Nanti virtualized geometry. I'm going to switch that to on. I've got everything on app epic. Ambient conclusion, uh, I'm going to go to high. Screen space, uh, I'm going to go to lumen high. View distance, epic. Textures, epic. And then download the high resolution pack that's been out quite a long time. So yeah, I've changed all the uh, my settings over. I'm going to press apply. Like I said, go over to the Fortnite website where they explain the whole geometry, super res, anti-aliasing and super resolution virtualized geometry over there. It is quite a, a, a mind boggling thing, but I'm sure have a good read over there, then you'll know what your PC is capable of. So I'm just gonna quickly jump into a game and see what difference it's made. Uh, I'm not using a 4K capture card, I'm just using a uh, ten eighty P card, so I guess it's not gonna capture the true resolution that I'll be seeing on my PC. Literally the servers have come back online in the last twenty minutes. I have had one quick go on the Xbox, but now I switch to PC. You can change uh, if you turn down or turn off 120 FPS on your PS5 or your Xbox. That will enable the uh, new super resolution. But I've done that on the Xbox. I've gone into the graphics settings on there. There's nothing that says that. So I don't know if you've got to go and turn off 120 FPS actually in your Xbox or PS5 settings because I don't see anything in the settings actually in the game. But that's something I'll be looking into. And it's taken a little while. Yeah, so I, this looks really It looks quite terrible using Direct. I've been using Direct X 11. I think the Direct X 12, and I'm using a pretty uh, old graphics card. I think you need to, uh, an RTX 2600 and above to get the full effect. I'm just not seeing anything that looks quite, the Chrome Punk looks quite blurry so I'm going to have to play with my settings the graphic settings because I'm not seeing any gain whatsoever in fact it looks quite worse so wow are we actually even moving yeah this is uh, definitely struggling so I'm going to have to go back into my settings and just have a, a good mess around with the quality Let's just get down to the ground. You know, these trees are supposed to be 300,000 polygons in them for each individual tree. Like I said, anyone that's running a top spec PC will definitely notice the difference. 
you know I'm not getting in any there's a slight improvement on the the light of the leaves but the uh, chrome punk skin looks a bit pixelated I will be making a couple more videos about this uh, new super res with the Unreal Engine 5.1 trying to get the most out of it on a a low end PC uh, quite like in the old dirt bikes motocross bikes they're pretty sick to drive Yeah, so I'm gonna go back over to my settings, probably put the game back into DirectX 11. And have a look to see what the, the graphics is like then compared to having DirectX 12 on and also the new uh, Super Res features. Oh, that's a jump and a half. Yeah, let me know in the comment box below if you are gonna allow the full potential of the Unreal Engine 5.1. Let me know what sort of PC you're running out, what sort of graphics card memory. And let me know if it makes a difference. And I shall get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.